In this video on vertical axis wind turbines, we're going to up the size and try and get closer to a practical design. And what we're going to do is take the wooden discs that we used in our in the last video, and they're uh, two feet in diameter, and we're going to put arms on them. to make it six feet wide, that's about 1.8 meters, and we'll have them three feet apart. That's a little less than a meter. And uh, that's based on uh, the minimal uh, material uh, needed uh, by cutting things in standard lengths uh, we can conserve the amount of material. And of course, this will have a hub running through it, and uh, then there will be sails out here. So uh, let's go look at the actual setup. Okay, here's the setup so far. And here's the, uh, the wooden discs. And I've attached radial arms here with a, a clamp and a screw. I didn't want to weaken, this would be a stress point, I didn't want to weaken that by drilling it. And right now everything's just temporary. There's some brackets uh, with a hose clamp. Uh, that's so I could adjust, I raise and lower the uh, wooden disc as required. And everything's the same on the top disc. Okay, at the uh, ends of the radials, I plan to have items here to hold the sails. And in the final stage, this would all be glued. But for now, I'm not going to uh, be gluing it. And even in the final design, this will not be glued. This is the leading edge of the sail, and it has to be removable in order to uh, put sails on and or take them off. Uh, the sails won't last forever, so it needs to be easy to be replaced. So in the final design, probably I would drill and screw these together so that they could be removed. So uh, let's put a sail on here and see what we have. Here's our first sail. I'll show you how it's made later in the video. It's got pockets for these pieces here and they're quite large in case we need to go to larger pieces of tubing. So they would be mounted like that, and then this piece would go down through the front pocket. Okay, there's a, a basic sail and we have a fan. So let's measure the airspeed and uh, then run it. And I have the fan set on medium speed, and we're showing uh, around four miles per hour. So let's see what happens with the sail. Here you can see how it's 
formed out into the shape of an airfoil or a wing. So, will it move? It looks like it works. Now the reason for the smiter here is so it can work in either direction. Well, you can see how it just slides. But when it's at that end, it's compressed, and out here, it's in that direction. Well, it seems to work, so let's add another sail. The plan is to have a total of six sails. So we'll add one more and see how things go. Okay, there's two sails in a four mile per hour breeze. However, our wind flow is right down the middle here. It's a very narrow um, band of wind. When the wind is uh, spread out over a wild, wider area, I think it would work even better. So we need to add uh, four more sets of radial arms and four more sails. Well, when I added the four more sails, the performance actually got worse. And uh, here's what was going on. Because we're limited to a 90 degree angle because of the, the PVC fittings. When the sail was in front of the fan, this represents the sail and this is the PVC pipe. The, the sail is virtually flat, so we weren't getting uh, much of a result when it was close to the fan. But down here, everything is exaggerated in the other direction and we were getting a nice acceleration uh, in this area. As soon as this sail moved out of the way, the fan was working on this sail. Now the other four sails were just working as paddles since they were sticking out beyond any radius they were actually uh, working against the sails that were working. But what we actually need to do is to get the sail support arm perpendicular to a line going to the center of our system here. And we can do that by offsetting our radial half that distance. Well, it's no longer a radial. It's the sail support arm. By offsetting it nine inches and making it perpendicular to that line, we end up with the sail perpendicular to the center line of the system. Now, when this arm is in front of the fan, the sail is oriented properly. And uh, as the air, as this sail moves out of the way and the air comes on through, it'll hit this sail also. So I'm going to go make a change and uh, first we'll fly two sails and then if that works better, uh, we'll add the other four. Okay, here's the uh, setup that I described on the whiteboard. Since the uh, wooden disc is uh, two feet in diameter, or 24 inches, and we're nine inches out, that means we're three inches in from the edge. So this piece was 30 inches, but it was mounted further from the center before, 
so now our radius is only 30 inches instead of the 36 inches that it was before. So in the future, uh, the radials, which are no longer radials, uh, would need to be 36 inches long instead of 30 inches long if we wanted to maintain the same diameter. Okay, I think it's rotating faster now. Okay, there's all six sails after the modification and it's running much better than with the old design. I'm at Walmart and this is the fabric that I used. This is enough to make three sails. There's the uh, frame for one of the sails. The actual material comes 44 inches wide, which is uh, about 112 centimeters. And uh, the plan was to make the sail 36 inches high by 18 inches wide. And I made it so the uh, the top and bottom pieces that hold the sail will be will extend one inch beyond the sail itself. Now the first thing I plan to do is to cut the this excess material off along here and that'll then be hemmed to uh, double the strength on the corners and for now I'm not sewing anything I'm using a uh, clear acrylic uh, coating to hold things together I, I held things t uh, to keep them from moving with a little spring clips uh, while I cut the material and then I put a piece of clear plastic underneath to protect the tabletop and I just painted the clear acrylic on from one side it actually soaks right through both layers there you can see it on the uh, plastic as it is soaked through and I know that it'll come loose after everything is dry. Okay we've marked off 24 inches and drew a line and that's where I'm going to cut the material and then fold it over one inch so that it will end up slightly shorter than the piece of tubing on the ends here. I used paper clips to hold the edge flat while I uh, painted it with the acrylic. Here's our completed sail layout except for the final folds which I'll show you in a minute. The uh, PVC pipes have not been glued. They are loose fitting uh, so that we can take the sail off of the frame after uh, we after it is completed. Well, there was the uh, next.
step in uh, moving towards a final design. And uh, the reason I'm showing all of this instead of just a final design is hoping to stimulate ideas in you as well as we show you how a normal development process happens for any kind of a new concept. So uh, it's winter here right now, so we can't work outside on a more final uh, model. But uh, in the meantime, we got to work on a generator. So uh, I'm planning to make a video about uh, generators for uh, wind turbines. And uh, you may have noticed this last model is a little flimsy. And uh, I had a uh, idea along the way here uh, that possibly we can go to uh, electrical conduit. It's uh, available in various diameters and relatively inexpensive. And one advantage to it is that it can be bent. And there's a, a standard tool available for bending conduit. This would normally be put on the ground and pulled back to whatever angle you want to bend the conduit to. And one thing that could do for us is with our uh, disc here, and instead of moving offset like we did with the PVC, we could now come here, but we can bend more than 90 degrees. So we can end up with this being tangent to our disc here so that we have symmet symmetry on both sides and can get our sails at the proper working angle. So I'll be uh, working on that. So we have uh, more videos to go, so I hope you'll subscribe. And uh, I look forward to doing them and hope you'll watch them. So until the next video comes out, uh, here are some videos you could watch in the meantime.